Moving on to an exciting launch of all new tech platform for alternative investments industry. To talk more about it, let me call upon stage Mr. Srikant Nadela, Managing Director, K Fintech. Healthy industry to a monumental $300 billion by 2028. Yet, with growth comes challenges. The alternative investments landscape faces hurdles such as time-bound and accurate reporting in a dynamic regulatory environment, manual data processing, disintegrated systems, and meeting investor servicing standards for all investor categories. Enter KFintech XALT. A forward-looking, fully automated system that anticipates your needs and adapts to the evolving technological landscape. XALT is your gateway to the future of alternative investments administration, where innovation meets efficiency and potential meets performance. XALT boasts an array of features that sets it apart. A multifaceted platform supporting multi-geography, multilingual, multi-currency, and multi-asset classes. Persona-based white-labeled limited partner, general partner, distributor portals and analytics. Industry-leading commission processing for alternatives. Customizable statement of accounts and dynamic configurable workflows. Accelerated go-to-market with pre-built templates. And a fully integrated transfer agency fund accounting platform. Underpinning XOLD's prowess are its technological benefits. A futuristic and evolutionary platform built on advanced rules-based engine, proprietary configuration and cloud-based data storage expandable to internet scale. Uncompromising adherence to security standards like OAuth 2.0, OAuth protocols, PCI DSS, historization and audit trails. Plus, a zero-dollar infrastructure setup with a SaaS platform managed by KFintech providing robust security and compliance. KFintech XALT is redefining the future of alternative investments administration, delivering better efficiency, unmatched performance and excellence. The future is XALT and it's powered by KFintech. Very good morning and a very warm welcome to the luminaries, captains and the stars of the industry. Uh, it's a great morning and I'm really, really confident that it's going to culminate into a really great one. It gives me great pleasure to be amidst you, to usher in a new year filled with optimism and exuberance even as our country is poised to be the fastest growing large economies in the world. You are the stars of the modern India creating financial freedom, even as our forefathers have created and given us the freedom of life. The 11th Indian Alternative Investment Summit 2024 provides an unrivaled opportunity for learning, networking, fostering invaluable relationships within the alternative investment landscape. As we gather here, I'm excited about the collaborative spirit that will propel our industry forward. I'll just spend a few minutes about the industry. It would uh, honestly be preaching to the choir, holding a torch to the sun, but bear with me and uh, we will get into the very exciting aspect of the day, which is uh, the awards uh, for the brightest stars of the industry. Our in investment landscape has experienced a profound transformation. Many statistics you are you know, pretty much aware over the past few years. <coughs> it has propelled uh, holistic economic growth. Investors today are more aware and financially savvy than ever before and are looking to go beyond the traditional investment instruments. The ordinary investments market is currently experiencing increased attention as many investors seek greater portfolio diversification and the potential to enhance their risk adjusted performance. The interest rates, the relative uh, performance of uh, mass products such as mutual funds, so on and so forth, has given a uh, rise and the momentum uh, to other varied asset classes such as the alternatives. Uh, today, uh, near about uh, 900,000 millionaires are there in India uh, in dollar terms. It is projected to touch 10 million within 
the next seven years. If you're really seeing a tenfold expansion of HNI and ultra HNI individuals in this country in just a matter of seven years, and that's just absolute geometric progression. And a lot of that wealth will be funneled and channeled through the very exciting investment class of alternatives, which you all are the forebearers of the same. Now, it's not just the economic landscape that's evolving, right? The composition of the inv investors itself has been changing. I think it's uh, every single year near about 10 million uh, youngsters come into the workforce. Uh, they're all financially savvy. Gone are the days when the de facto investment classes used to be real estate and gold. They're all looking at financial ca classes. Now, I heard the panel speaking about SIP for alternate investment funds. Now, what SIP has done for mutual funds is something that all of us know. It is but a matter of time that you would see the expansion quite dramatically expanding even here in the case of alternate investment funds. Even as the industry has grown at a CAGR of 30%, the, every parameter and metric suggests that the momentum would be carried forward and probably expanding on that 30% too. Now around the world, uh, the diversification and the improved returns for allocating more capital to alternate asset classes such as the private equities, hedge funds, real estate, et cetera, and the digital assets is growing. So is the intent for fractionalization of the assets. There has been a series of uh, uh, consultation papers and circulars from the regulator in terms of driving the fractionalization of the assets. And we believe that no better than the AIF to be the vehicle of choice for that to be taken forward. Now, it was a decade ago, I think much of the money that used to come into this asset class largely used to be from the FIIs. Latest statistics show that 85% of all money in today's world comes from India domestic. And that speaks volumes in terms of the resilience of this entire industry. Now, we are at the cusp of a new credit cycle. Now, it's fueled by the private sector, CapEx, as well as the governments. And we believe that in time to come, a lot of that money would be deployed. There was a talk about uh, absorption of the capital, even if the capital could be raised. It is but obvious that I think the matchmaking needs to happen. There is capital. There is requirement. I think it's really a matter of getting these two things together. And for that is where lies, I guess, truly the opportunity for the fund managers to be able to identify uh, both the investment opportunities as well as the investors. And embracing technology and collaborating with the ecosystem is truly the only way to go ahead with that. Now, another important statistic, uh, roughly about 12% of India's AUM is, uh, no, sorry, globally, about 12% of the AUM is in alternatives. India is already at 17%, and we believe it will touch 20%. So it just speaks about just a bit like uh, the, the derivatives trading as to how India has forged ahead. Uh, in the space of alternatives too, the total quantum of AUM as a percent of the total, a the AIF, AIF AUM, the total quantum of AUM is roughly almost 17% and poised to become 20% in time to come. Now the industry's evolution is significantly driven by the tech. As the number of AFs in India grow, which today is roughly about 1,250 and we believe there are another 400 to 500 in the horizon to come. Now, investment managers do seek all-in-one solution for onboarding, accounting, reporting, communications, and tax compliance. Now, having one-stop you know, solution for getting everything done for an alternate investment manager probably continues to be a dream to an extent. But at KFintech, we have taken the feedback loud and clear. It was not too long back, a year back, when it qualified uh, conducted an event like this. There was a panel discussion. Uh, some of you were here, I could see Hemel giving feedback in terms of how the administrators should catch up with the progress uh, of the fund manager uh, and the investments itself. And we've taken it upon ourselves to create probably what we could believe to be the best in class, uh, one platform made in India for the globe in terms of managing multi-currency, multi-geography, multi-asset and multilingual capable solution fully integrating TA, FA, digital, and the data stack together. You saw a little glimpse of that. And uh, you know, we have reached out to some of you, and then hopefully you, know, you would see that in action in time to come. Now, that platform is Exalt. Now, the dynamics of the industry requires for this to be an extremely customized, bespoke, bespoke and a curated solution. Unlike in the case of mutual funds, where it is reasonably straight jacketed, I think it's all important for us to be making sure that we give you the keys to customize what you need, whether it is transparency in the form of real-time data and uh, investor service in the form of statement accounts, whether it is tax and compliance, whether it is audit trail that you need to create and demonstrate to your auditor, so on and so forth. It is, but obvious that it will continue to be a journey, a work in progress, even as the entire industry evolves. We will try our best 
to stay ahead of the changes that are happening. There has been a significant accountant crunch, not just in India, world over. It is but obvious that we have to codify the human knowledge into the system, and that's what our endeavor, and that's what had resulted in the form of Exalt. I will not talk too much about the platform. You've already seen some of it. Now, we believe that it's not just a platform. It's a forward-looking solution. It's a fully automated system. It can be used on self-serve model or on a managed service model. And it is reasonably future ready from the standpoint of technology. It is completely zero trust model. It is OWASP, it is on OAuth model. It is completely on cloud and on a data security provisioning that can be meeting any of your requirements, however you would want it to be custom made for you. With that, uh, I would now request uh, our chairman, uh, eminent banker, policymaker, Mr. M. B. Nair, to come forward and speak a few words before we launch into the award ceremony. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'll not take much of your time. So I have a brief uh, task to do. Uh, <clears throat> All that I would like to share, with, uh, share it with you is why we came up with this uh, idea of Thought Leadership Awards for AFs. Um, you know, along with KFIN uh, Technologies, what Mr. Srikanth mentioned, significant contribution have been made by various thought leaders to shape the financial as well as technological landscape of AF industry. The AF industry in India has witnessed exponential growth. Of course, you all did it, actually. Uh, <clears throat> uh, industri industries AUM and the number of funds are growing significantly over the last few years with wide range of uh, fund structures. We believe the industry is in the cusp of uh, breakthrough and would grow rapidly, like what happened in the West. At KFintech and um, Equally Free, we believe uh, this opportunity is an opportune moment in time to recognize and honor some of the exceptional contributors and thought leaders in the Indian AF industry today. Hence, we uh, came up with the idea of Thought Leaders Award for AF. Along with the E-Qualify, of course, uh, uh, they've been here right, right from morning. Thought leadership is not limited to the technology and innovations, thought leaders have always been visionary thinkers and catalysts for change. They step ahead of the disruptive curve to seek innovation. This year, we have recognized a list of some important leaders who disrupted the alternative investment landscape by introducing groundbreaking ideas in various dimensions and specializations. We reiterate our ongoing commitment to the growth of the alternative investment industry in India and take this opportunity to recognize the expertise of these veterans who have collectively joined hands to make the industry what it is today. The inaugural edition of the Indian Alternative Industry Thought Leaders 2024 is an effort to celebrate outstanding leaders from Indian alternative investment landscape. The AF Thought Leaders Award categories have been carefully crafted of, uh, <clears throat> to represent 10 diverse categories of exceptional contributors. And this industry across uh, founders, compliance, operations, technology, products, marketing, fundraising, industry advocacy, industry initiatives, and social impact, 10 different areas. The awardees in each of these 10 categories are uh, intensively experienced in their, extensively experienced in their um, respective roles and have significantly enriched the alternative space in India. I join every one of you to con congratulate the awardees today. Uh, thank you. That's the award for you today. Thank you very much. And now, to unveil the report, 
I request Mr. Srikant Nadella to please come on stage and Mr. Aditya Gadge, founder Equalify and Privex. Before we unveil the report, I request Mr. Aditya to please speak few words about this initiative. So good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today uh, uh, on this 11th uh, summit. Um, a very interesting day today. Uh, we started uh, this as a conference to 2013. Uh, 2018, uh, we realized that uh, conference was OK, getting everyone together, but the, eco I mean, the ecosystem was really growing uh, very fast. And a uh, lot of youngsters were coming into this space, and we thought we should have some kind of a platform to recognize uh, the youngsters uh, you know, who are doing such great job in alternative investments. That's when we started the 40 Under 40 uh, Awards campaign with uh, Edelweiss, uh, which we're today continuing with ca camps. And um, over the last uh, seven years, we never really realized. It was just, a, for us, it was only an initiative to acknowledge good work. But uh, the, the entire campaign really became a cult. Uh, over the years, we have close to 210 industry rock stars on that group and uh, uh, it, it is an amazing amazing uh, community that uh, you know came out of that small initiative um, it led to a problem which uh, Srikanth and uh, KFN Tech team helped us solve this time that uh, so much was the the wow factor around the 40 under 40 that we started getting le requests left right and center from the seniors of the industry saying that Hamari liye bhi kuch karo yaar. what have we done wrong not to deserve a recognition like this. What is our fault if we are not under 40 by the time this ecosystem is growing? So we thought, ye kuch karna banta hai. 40 under 40, any which ways had, uh, you know, uh, ran its complete course. Uh, uh, the idea was to recognize new talent, which we've done over the last seven years. And today is a final edition of 40 under 40. And today is also the start of a new initiative that we want to run year after year with KF and Tech, uh, which is we are calling uh, Indian Alternative Investment Thought Leaders. The idea will be to create a power list that recognizes the good work being done uh, by uh, industry leaders every year. And uh, this year, uh, as it's being a transition year, uh, we planned only 10 categories. From next year, I think the list will be much broader, uh, where we'll try to kind of include all stakeholders of the ecosystem. So thank you, Srikanth, Anisha, Senthil, and k Tech team for uh, supporting this initiative, I'm sure we'll be able to do uh, create a similar community with this initiative as we did for 40 Under 40. So thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Aditya. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's been our association with Aditya and team had been for nearly about four years now. And uh, like the Indian alternatives industry, I think it's, it's just metamorphosized into something really, really larger than life. And I think it's still the beginning. Uh, more power to Aditya, more power to Equalify, more power to the Indian alternative investment industry. I do hope, just like the investment managers uh, found their way here one of these days, the administrators and the support system, people like us, also could be you know, considered <laughs> for the awards. I think it's you know, in the glitzy world of customer acquisition, fundraise, alpha generation. I think that, that's just fabulous. But it's just a lot of grunt work that happens underneath that. And it's, it's a bit like the foundation that is required to create a phenomenal you know, a house that you would want to be living in. And, and I think to that extent, uh, we play our own tiny little role uh, and hope to partake the journey uh, along with the industry captains. This initiative, I believe, uh, will be absolutely the marquee uh, initiative uh, for this industry in times to come. And uh, we are there uh, hand in hand with the qualified to take it forward to the largest scale. Thank you. Thank you so much for your insightful words. Now may I please request the gentleman to unveil the inaugural Indian Alternative Investment Thought Leaders Report. Let's have a big round of applause, guys. We have a photo of
Thank you for doing the honors. Now may please start with felicitation ceremony. I request you all to please take the reports from the stage. The first award goes to Vineet Sukumar, Founder and Managing Director, Vivriti Group. Mr. Vineet, I request you to please say a few words. Your secret sauce. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was part of the plan. <laughs> no, thanks, uh, Equalify and the k Fintech team for doing this. Uh, it means a lot to me uh, because I started in the AIF industry back in 2014, at which time it wasn't fashionable. It remained not fashionable for a while. And I think while this industry has gone through its own ups and downs, but uh, uh, we remain a proud participant uh, for us, uh, we are a player in credit, uh, and that's all we know. And we feel that that can become a tremendous and a nation-building asset class. And we continue to look forward to being a part of it. Thank you. The next award goes to Amit Gupta, Group Compliance Officer, ASK Investment Managers. Guys, where is the energy? <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Yes. Teacher, mother, yes. father, anyone. <laughs> Thanks to the team which I have here. So Nipun, Nehal, Shruti, Vinita, they make me look, you know, much smarter than what I am. So you know, that is what it is. And uh, thanks to, of course, Equalify. Thanks to you. And thanks to the jury for recognizing compliance in this uh, inaugural edition of the award function. And, you know, uh, frankly, uh, what I'd like to put over is uh, compliance is not a support function. I think it's more of a strategic function now. So let's recognize and you know, let's you know, kind of uh, involve them in the strategic discussion. And then you see wonders in your governance controls and structures. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> the next award goes to Heyman Daga, co-founder and CEO, NEO Asset Management. Say a few words. <laughs> so, firstly, uh, thanks uh, K Fintech and Equalify for doing this event. I think it's an amazing initiative that you guys are doing. Uh, alternative industry in India is still very nascent. Uh, I think Shrikant was giving some numbers, but like everything in India, we are always under underpenetrated. Uh, the good thing is this capital is very productive. It will go a long way in changing the contours of the Indian economy. And I'm sure at, as NEO, we will play an important part in this transformation. 
So happy to be part of this journey at a very initial stage. And once again, compliments to you guys for doing such a beautiful event. Thank you. Next award goes to Santoshi Kitur, Chief Technology Officer, 361. Thank you so much for this opportunity and the incredible partnership, uh, KFINTECH, for getting us to where we are. Thank you for this opportunity. I, I just want to say that the role of technology is always to create reliable, flexible, scalable platforms. And Exalt clearly is headed in that direction. Platforms that uh, more than anything else give visibility and decision support. And that's what we're attemp attempting to do at 361 is to build systems, platforms for the future that no matter what kind of business we are, what kind of products we are uh, uh, we're distributing or we're working with manufacturing, we are able to scale no matter wh where we're at. So thank you so very much. Thank you and congratulations. Next award goes to Hamil Mehta, Chief Finance Officer, Edelweiss's Alternative. Thanks, Equalify, and thanks, Kevin. Uh, thanks for inviting once again. I think I was here last year as one of the panelists. As we say, and I think somebody in the previous panel did say, that film fair is happening in Gibbs City, I believe. Even these awards, I'm sure, are going to go to that level, considering the way the industry is expanding. And I'm sure these awards are going to be much larger in days to come. But just to come back to this industry, I think, we all are part of this ecosystem. K Fintech as part of supporting the operations has, has been doing a wonderful job. I think the new application looks very promising. And I'm sure we all are looking forward to other service providers to catch up. And thanks once again for everybody to M panel, this great jury, and definitely somebody like us to be considered. Thank you once again. Next award goes to Sapna Prabhakaran, Executive Director and Head Marketing and Corporate Communications. First ever marketing award in financial services. We're also building a community for the Marcom professionals in BFSI. Uh, but uh, Sapna and I go long way back. I mean, we started 40 under 40. We started so many other initiatives. And uh, uh, you know, they, I've seen. I mean, uh, uh, people who go out of their way uh, to kind of take initiatives which are for a larger good. Uh, you know, they or, or the larger benefit of the industry. I, I find. Uh, 
that community of marketing professionals to be very, very small. I think Sapna belongs to that. And thank you, thank you for that, Sapna. I think we need to have Marcom professionals who are looking beyond ROI and thinking more about the industry because if we grow the pie for everyone, you also benefit. So uh, some words from you. You just made my speech for me, Aditya, so thanks for that. Uh, like Aditya said, though, we do go uh, back a long way, and we started 40, 40 under 40 several years ago, and it's good to see it, uh, you know, reach the stage where we feel like we've given uh, the industry the recognition that it needs. You know, marketing is always uh, very glamorous on the consumer side, rarely recognized on the B2B side, so it's, uh, it's good. And this is on behalf of all the B2B marketing professionals who are always behind the scenes and, you know, chugging away at it. So thank you so much to the jury. The next award goes to Rishikesh Parandekar, Senior Partner, Alpha Alternatives. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you, Equalify team. Thank you, uh, Shrikanth and the uh, KFN Tech team. Uh, this is a wonderful recognition. And of course, we stand here as part of the uh, rapidly growing alternatives industry. I'd just like to call out, I mean, I have one of my partners here, but we are a very proud partnership of 15 partners. Uh, we are now about 180 people. So it's a credit to the entire team. Uh, and so the category is product and product innovation strategy. And so. Uh, frankly, the innovation comes from having great people and great partners, uh, and that's kind of what we count on. And uh, we've continued to add them over the last 10 years, and we will continue to do so. Uh, and that's where innovation comes from. Uh, you heard Prashant earlier, but um, we hope to be able to do a lot more. There's such a long runway and such a great opportunity in India, uh, and so we will continue to do more interesting things. And we will look to help from folks like you to sort of help make sense of the back end of those interesting innovative products. So thank you all, uh, and good luck. Thank you, and congratulations. The next award goes to Rajiv Saptarshi, Whole Time Director and Chief Operating Officer, Kotak Investment Advisors. active force, uh, not only with Equalify, but I'm sure with some of the other organizations also when it comes to industry initiatives and advocacy. Rajiv, I've always seen you always raising your hands first when it, whenever there was a call <laughs> for any kind of a last minute submission or, you know, firefighting to be done. Uh, thank you so much. I mean, on the behalf of industry and uh, Equalify, I would like to say, and um, quickly let, let us hear from you. What makes you so special? Anyway, you need somebody to make noise, right? Anyway, thanks to the jury, to eQualify, to KFN Tech for having bestowed this honor on me. Actually, I'm very proud to be part of the revolutionary changes that are being brought about by the regulator to improve governance standards and to bring the Indian AIF industry at par with global standards. While a lot has been done, a lot still needs to be done. And I hope to continue to contribute to these efforts by the regulator and the industry. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. The next award goes to Siddharth Pai, founding partner, 314 Capital. Siddharth is not here, but he's a very active part of Equalify and um, young blood, and he's been doing super work, not only with his own fund, but also on the advocacy part. Uh, he's also set up, I think, another PVC, CFO association, plays 
uh, I mean, wherever I see him, he's, he's playing a very active role with Pranav, his brother. Uh, so Siddharth, congratulations if you're watching it live stream. <laughs> Trophy will reach you soon. Yes, definitely. All right, moving forward, the next award goes to Vineet Rai, founder, the Avishkar Group. All right, once again, congratulations to all the winners. Now we have a group picture. I request everyone to please come on stage. All winners to please come on stage. Once again, congratulations to all the winners. Can we get a huge round of applause, guys? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you all to please come back soon as we are running late. We'll take a quick break.